Okay, here this problem is asking us to rewrite the equation as ax plus by equals c. So effectively they're asking us to collect the variables on the left and the constant on the right. We call this a uh, standard form of a linear equation. And I'm also going to uh, require that my x coefficient, the a out here, I'm going to make sure that this is always going to be a bigger than zero, just because that's useful in different contexts for other reasons. So in the first problem, we have y minus 2 equals negative 6 times x minus 6. Okay, simplification. Let's make that y minus 2 equals... Let's distribute so that we get negative 6x plus 36. Okay, that's going to be our first stage here, is the distributive stage. Now it does want us to collect all the variables on the left and all the numbers on the right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add on a 6x to both sides, and I'm going to add on a 2 to both sides. Because what is that going to do for me? Well, it's going to cancel out these pieces, and it's going to cancel out these pieces. So what is going to be left over on the left-hand side? Well, now we have the 6x, and we have the y. And on the right-hand side, after cancellation, 36 plus 2 is 38. And conveniently, that's exactly in this form, right? ax plus by equals c. So now let's try it again. Let's try it on the right-hand side here with a y plus 1 equals 2x minus 5. I encourage you to pause the video and try it on your own to get some practice so you can verify it with me. But assuming you took a good old shot there and stopped it and tried it on your own, let's see what we have. First, the distributive property. y plus 1 equals 2x minus 10. Right. Second stage. Let's move all the variables to the left and all the constants to the right. So I'm going to be subtracting a 2x, and I'm going to be subtracting a 1. Okay, what's going to cancel is we're going to lose the constants on the left, and we're going to lose the variables on the right, and what remains is going to be negative 2x plus y equals negative 11, and I believe that this is good enough for the software we're using, but again, I want to do this one extra thing where we make sure that our a is always bigger than zero. So I'm going to multiply through by negative 1 to make everything opposite sign. So the negative 2x becomes 2x, the plus y becomes a minus y, and the negative 11 becomes a positive 11. So in many, in some textbooks, this is the required form, is 2x minus y equals 11.